Omega-3 isn't just healthy fat, it's the foundation of almost every cell in your body. Your brain, your eyes, your heart, your joints, your hormones, they all rely on it to function. And your body can't make omega-3 on its own in a proper form. You have to get it through food or through supplements, which means if you're not eating wild fish a few times a week, you're probably running low. And that's where the problems start. There are three main types of omega-3s, ALA, EPA, and DHA. ALA comes from things like flax and walnuts. Your body can use ALA, but it has to convert it into EPA and DHA first. And that conversion doesn't work very well. Only about 5% of the ALA turns into the much needed EPA. And even less than that turns into DHA, which is the one that your brain and your eyes really need and the one that the, the kids' brains and eyes really needs. So EPA and DHA are the ones that matter the most and these come primarily from marine sources. So although I like flax and chia and walnuts, you don't end up converting the really good, powerful doses that come when you just have marine sources like wild fish or quality fish oil supplements. They're the ones that do the things like reducing and supporting healthy inflammatory response levels, stabilizing the membranes, the outer layer of your cells, and supporting brain function. That's why fish oil, or even better, high potency omega-3 supplements are some of the best tools to have in restoring those levels, whether you're a kid or an adult. And you just can't get enough of it typically from plant sources alone. So especially vegans need to be very careful of this fact. Most people though, regardless of diet, aren't even close to getting the amount of EPA and DHA that their body actually needs to function properly. So now that you know what omega-3 is, let's talk about what it actually does in the body once you start taking it in very regularly. First, in your brain. The brain is made up of fat. It is 60, 70% fat. Isn't that crazy? Huge portion of that is fat from DHA. In fact, nearly a quarter of the fat in your brain is DHA. Nearly a quarter of the fat in your children's brain is DHA. So when you're low in DHA, your brain function slows down. Memory gets fuzzy, focus gets harder, mental fatigue sets in a lot faster. But when you restore your DHA levels, when you restore your child's DHA levels, things start working again. Memory feels sharper, focus becomes easier, and people report feeling clearer, more mentally alert. Joint stiffness is another big one. Most people chalk it up to aging, but the real issue is often chronic inflammation that's grinding in the joints that are creating lots of damage. The body's responding and you're constantly in this imbalanced inflammatory response state. EPA helps to support normal inflammatory responses. So it's a huge one to be adding in in that scenario. On top of that, Omega-3s also help support healthy triglyceride levels. High triglycerides are one of the strongest early warning signs of heart disease because it is a very overworked liver. In fact, the American Heart Association says omega-3s can help reduce levels of triglycerides from anywhere between 20 up to 50%, depending on the dose. Studies show even just one to two grams a day can make a noticeable difference. And if you suffer from dry eyes, omega-3 might be one of the easiest fixes. See, your retinas that attach to your brain act like your brain and are rich in DHA, that healthy fat. Your tear glands rely on those omega-3 fats to produce healthy tears. So when you're not getting enough DHA, your eyes get very dry and irritated. Your skin benefits too. Omega-3s help impact a normal inflammatory response in the skin. That means fewer flare-ups of things like eczema, psoriasis, acne. This goes for kids as well. They also improve hydration by helping your skin hold on to more moisture. And research shows that they may even protect against sun damage and slow down the signs of aging. The benefits just keep coming. They don't stop there. Omega-3 has also been shown to reduce fat buildup in the liver, improve sleep, improve your mood, prevent dementia, lower blood pressure levels, make weight loss a lot easier, and lower the overall 
imbalance of the inflammatory response throughout the body. And here's the part that catches people off guard. Omega-3 may actually slow down aging. I loved this study. It came out all across huge news networks not too long ago as of the time of creating this video. In a three-year clinical trial out of Switzerland, older adults who took just up to one gram of omega-3s per day showed a three to four month reversal in their biological aging. That same study found a 61% lower risk of cancer and a 39% reduction in early physical decline. That's not some blog article, that is a published clinical trial. Unfortunately, most people aren't even close to getting enough of these proper fats each day. The average American only gets a tenth of what is needed for the right amount each and every day of these proper omega-3s. Now, if you wanna get enough omega-3 in your diet, especially based on studies like that, you need to take the right dose and the right form at the right time. The problem is twofold. One, you might not have fish in your diet. Fish sticks don't count. The Living Good family doesn't do great at that. Nurse Living Good doesn't love it. We don't typically make it. So I'm not getting a marine source on a weekly basis of EPA and DHA. So we turn to supplementing it into our diet. But most supplement labels don't tell you what really matters. They'll slap on a 1200 milligrams of fish oil on the front of the bottle. But when you flip it over and you check the EPA and the DHA, the two very crucial components that we're focusing on that the studies show create all the benefits, it's a very different story. It might only be 300 milligrams of EPA and DHA, and then there's other filler fats involved with fish oils. So it's a very bloated version that only provides a small amount of EPA and DHA, and it's not enough to move the needle. So we've gotta be very careful of that front of package marketing. I recommend aiming for at least 750 milligrams a day of EPA and DHA. So when you flip that container over, the combination and the total of EPA plus DHA should equal 750 or above. If you do have severe joint issues, severe brain issues, fog, high triglycerides, I would then go as high of doubling it to 1500 milligrams a day, it's ideal for a real therapeutic effect. That 1500 milligram dose is what maximizes a healthy inflammatory response in the body. But to hit those numbers, you need to have a high potency omega-3. So the cheap stuff that's often found in the box stores, you need five cheap doses just to match one dose of a high quality omega-3. The key lies into concentrating the omega-3s, chopping out the other saturated fats and triglycerides, the other oils that come with the fish oil and dialing it in to a high quality protected EPA, DHA, omega-3. That dosage then needs to be encased in a dark package and it needs to be protected from oxidation, from going rancid. If your bottle of omega-3s is clear, it's not gonna be quality the oxidation scores of how long will that oil last on the shelf without oxidizing and going rancid, similar to throwing a fish on the bank of a river, it will start to smell, right? A five-year oxidation shelf life is what I like to know. And you oftentimes don't know that info unless you know the company personally. And not to mention, many of the cheap fish oils are already rancid by the time that you open the bottle because of exposure to heat, exposure to light. If your fish oil smells really fishy, or gives you lots of fish burps, I would consider changing it. It means typically that it's been oxidized. So instead you want to find one that's been third party tested to protect that oxidation and ideally in a concentrated form so that you can swallow the capsules and you're not gagging on them and they're more concentrated and you're getting higher EPA and DHA. When I first really started studying omega-3s, I went all the way back to Dr. Dyerberg. He discovered the omega-3s, EPA and DHA, studying indigenous people back in the 60s. That's who discovered that this component, EPA and DHA, in the blood of this population was the main factor driving down their heart disease risk and driving down their stroke risk compared to Americans. So we wanted to understand what these molecules were and hence DHA and EPA were born. 
So with him being the grandfather of omega-3s and the amount of research, 2000 studies he's put into studying these components, I just went straight to him to source the omega-3s. He's literally on the board, it's his company, to source the fish in clean waters like in Norway, to be able to concentrate it down with that technology so you're getting a high dose, BPA, DHA, concentrated form, originating and influenced by the original researcher of these omega-3. So it's the Living Good Daily Omegas. We also add in omega-6, 7, and 9 because they do have benefits. It's got the 750 milligram dose of DHA and EPA. And I added an entire bottle of turmeric to it as well, just for its overwhelming benefits of helping to support a healthy inflammatory response. So there's a link for that one below. That's why I just created my own. For my kids, I created a liquid form of that with high DHA higher than the EPA for their little brains to develop. And when they're in school and they're focusing, this is a key nutrient I have them get in on each day. That link is below as well. So you don't have to get it from Dr. Living Good. I'm just telling you, we don't eat enough fish. And I wanted a very, very trusted source that wasn't oxidized, wasn't full of metals. It was concentrated, had a ton of good research and studies behind it from the most qualified source I could find. And so that's why I created those two. Those links are below. But point being, we need to get EPA in. We need to get DHA in. Your kids need both of those as well. Where are they going to come from? Is it in the diet? If it's not, we've got a supplement with it. Now you know kind of what to look out for. As for timing, it's not about what time of day you take it, it's how you take it. The omega-3 is a fat-soluble nutrient, so it will be slightly more effective taking it around a meal. Now I do a lot of fasting, I'll skip breakfast, I still get my omegas in. Because the omega I take already has borage oil and other sixes and sevens and nines, macadamia nut, it comes with oil already, so it's way more absorbable. But Taking your omega-3 with food can help the absorption. Foods like eggs or avocado or olive oil, or if, like I said, your supplement already has macadamia nut oil and borage oil already added in it, then that helps that absorption level. And I will note, if you've had your gallbladder removed or you don't digest fats well, you might wanna consider a supporter for the gall that has digestive enzymes or bile salts. Bile salts are helping to break fats down, including EPA and DHA, the omega-3s, in your body so that you can actually use them, you can actually absorb them. So I'll put a link for that below as well, our gallbladder supporter for a source of bile salts and digestive enzymes if you need some assistance there. I recommend anyone that doesn't have a gallbladder take that kind of supporter and those type of nutrients on an ongoing basis because absorbing and using healthy fats is a crucial part to overall health. So if you've been taking fish oil here and there and you're wondering why you aren't seeing the results, those might be the reasons. Now you know, the dose can be too low, the quality is off, or your body just isn't absorbing it. When you fix that and you take it consistently, that's when the results start to stack up. In as little as 30 days, you can start seeing real changes in your joints, in your brain, in your skin, and even your lifespan can improve. But here's the thing. Even if you're taking the right omega-3, it might not work like it should if your body is still full of its nemesis and counterpart, toxic omega-6s. There are healthy omega-6s, there are rancid toxic omega-6s that are exploding in our food supply. As high as 25% of the fat we now eat is a rancid form of seed oils. It's everywhere. Chips, dressings, crackers, even so-called health foods, even omegas themselves have added rancid seed oils to them. The average person today eats up to 20 times more omega-6 than omega-3, and that completely throws off the balance in your body to have a healthy inflammatory response. Omega-3 helps, but it's only half the fix. There's a second step that almost no one talks about, and if you're still inflamed, tired, or you're holding on to weight, even with a clean diet, this might be the reason why. I break down two simple steps in the next video how uh, you can start lowering linoleic acid and the buildup of it in your body by as much as 24% within two weeks. I'll include a link to that video right here. Click here to watch it next and I'll see you there.